I promise in the comments that I will create a video to show you how to use Merkle tree in existing Hashlabs pre-sale contract. This video is a walkthrough demonstrating how to do it. Bear in mind, it can become very technical, but everyone is welcome to go on this fun ride with Uncle Aro. So let's get started. So I've made all the changes already for you. What you need to do is you need to copy this contract down. So this is the hash list contract. The changes that I have made, I've commented it over here. I've got rid of all the whitelist functionality that Hashlabs had in the previous contract, including a change to the previous main function. So if I go to the main function, this one, it had an if condition and lots of minting, whitelist minting logic inside it. I got rid of that. I've added this piece of code, which is checking. These are two, uh, these are two modifiers. One is for Merkle proof, another is for, uh, is the payment correct? And I'm using these modifiers in the mint whitelist function, as you can see over here. So when you basically mint an NFT, you will submit a Merkle proof. And this Merkle proof would be verified over here based on the address. And if the address exists in the Merkle tree, or if it, it is matching the root of the Merkle tree, then it would verify and it would go to the next condition, which is, is correct payment. So if the payment is correct, address is correct, it will mint one NFT. Uh, I have a hard coded one over here. You could make this a variable and get that as an input, like how many you want to mint. So, and after that, it will just do a safe mint, which is just straightforward. All right, first things first, let's copy this contract into your favorite editor and deploy it onto testnet. So before deploy, I like to just test if it can compile. So it will show us if it is compiling correctly or not. There you go, it has compiled correctly. There were no issues. Now I'm gonna do npm run. Um, I need to deploy this contract. So I'm just gonna go to my package JSON file and copy the command for the deployment. Deploy to this. Okay, so it's deployed. You can see the contract is there. If I go to etherscan, I should be able to see this contract. As you can see on the etherscan, the contract is now visible for this. So I'm using a dark mode of etherscan on Chrome. So that's why you're seeing the dark background. Anyway, so this is the same contract that we just deployed. Uh, you can see the number is 2677-2677 in my editor. So this has been deployed. Now we can just start interacting with the contract by clicking the right contract, MetaMask. First of all, I want to just set the whitelist cost to zero so that I don't have to pay any Ethereum on testnet because it is still expensive on testnet. And then I'm going to set the Merkle tree, Merkle tree root node. The way, as I showed you in my last video, to get the Merkle tree root node is, first of all, you should have your address in the list. So I have got my address at the top. And then I, I'm basically uh, doing a map on all the addresses and creating a Merkle tree. The only addition is that I have added sort pairs to and then I'm doing a get hex root and printing out the root and printing out the first address and then I am creating the proof for that particular address that uh, that first address and I'm printing the proof after printing the proof because I'm interacting with etherscan etherscan doesn't like the proof in the array format it it likes it in a joint uh, hex format. So I'm just gonna run it and you'll see what I mean. So node index.js and this is a root which came from this console log. Then there, there are dashes, which is this. Then this is the first address of the wallet and the rest of it is the proof. So let's set the root first.
the transaction has successfully completed. Now I'm going to go back to the contract again. I've already set the Michael tree root. I'm going to click on read to check the node has been set correctly. Yep, that was our root node. What about the whitelist cost? Yep, that's zero. Now I'm going to go and write the contract with the mid whitelist function. So as I said, the whitelist cost is zero. So I'm going to add zero over there. Here, first, I'm going to show you with, with the wrong value. So let's just copy this value. Uh, and this is the value, right? So I'm just going to delete uh, some of it. So the transaction actually fails. And then we will do actually yeah so let's just do the transaction fail first so as you can see over here it, it already tells you that if you do this transaction it will fail so i'm gonna now do the right transaction first reject all transactions reject and here you can see that it doesn't complain about the transactions anymore but as soon as i add any character change any character like if i change it to b it will complain that this transaction will fail so that's an immediate feedback over there so eject that change that to whatever the proof was and click on confirm and view the transaction this is a real nft minting on testnet using merkle tree so i'm really excited about it i don't know about you guys but this is an exciting feeling for me to use merkle tree on testnet um, and on hashlips contract it's 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 great uh, amending someone's contract but I'll have to write my own code guys uh, challenge me with something more interesting and I would be happy to take on that as well Epic success as you can see we have minted a token it says tokens transferred from this address to this address and the token was ERC721 with the token ID 1 which was Uncle Aro Lotus token which was basically the name of the contract and the symbol of the contract and because we didn't pay anything it was zero so yep great success thank you for watching this uh, we have used it using etherscan in the next video i can definitely demonstrate to you how we can do it via the website as well so i have created a demo website with connect wallet mint where you could connect everything together stitch the whole flow together and mint it stay tuned